Hi everybody, welcome to This is My Architecture. I'm Woody from AWS and I'm joined today by Ivan from The Zone. Hi Ivan. Hi Woody, very nice to meet you. So Ivan, how The Zone do? The Zone streams sport events over the internet, uh, both in video on demand and live sport events. And we stream to a number of devices. They can be smartphones, smart TVs, laptops, any kind of, de of device you might think of. So what are you showing today? Today, I'm going to present the architecture for our feature key moments. Key moments are graphical elements uh, overlaid on top of, our, of the play bar of our video player in order to facilitate and simplify the navigation of the user who wants to review a particular action to lead an, to a not, not worthy event. Like goal like a, or exactly. you know, substitution. If you think about football, it can be a goal, substitution, kickoff, these okay. kind of things. So where this architecture start? Uh, it is important to know that this architecture is a push-based architecture uh, because it gives some more control over the quality of, of our service and because it's more efficient, of course. Okay. We have a challenge which is synchronizing data coming from the pitch with the video stream. And uh, all starts from the electronic program guide, which is served as a topic on SNS. Electronic program guide gives us information about sport events that are about to start. So the type of sport, uh, start and end time, so we can plan for capacity in our So it's a notification. To Indeed to the step function, okay. which we see here. The step function uh, at the start of the sport event extracts the video streams in the different formats we serve, Dash, Smooth, and HLS. Okay. Then invokes Fargate and instantiate a um, number of containers, one uh, per um, video stream, in order to extract keyframes. Those okay. keyframes from the video are passed to recognition for analysis to detect text, which is in the, in the keyframe. And specifically what we are looking at is the time information from the start of the period. So you are looking for text, so I imagine you can Correct. You are using text and image feature for by exactly. recognition. Okay. And then we pass this information to uh, our stream offset service. What this does is taking the information coming from the video, which might say we are two minutes and five seconds inside the period, and that gives us the offset of the kickoff from the start of the video stream. Note that the start of the video stream is not the same as the start of the sport event. It happens earlier. So there is the delta. Indeed. So we want this delta in order to be able to position correctly the key moment on the play bar. Makes sense. The so other part, about the other part? Exactly. The other part of the architecture is uh, collecting the data which is coming from the pitch from a, um, a data feed, which is ingested into a kinesis analytics stream. We process the stream, filtering out the events we want, and uh, we pass them to a lambda, which is our key moment service. We want to collect them, store them, and then publish them, of course. So what's the client's part about? So let's assume we are at the start of a live sport event. We have millions of clients connecting in a time span of a few minutes. We have those clients connecting through API Gateway. So I suppose scalability is a, is paramount, a challenge. Paramount, exactly. Right? Scalability is a challenge and is paramount for our service, of course. They connect through API Gateway. API Gateway through Route 53 will use okay. latency-based routing to connect to the most appropriate AWS region where we host, in each of those, we host ECS. So you're using a multi-region approach for that? Indeed, okay. exactly, for a number of reasons. First, because we serve worldwide clients. Second, because we want full tolerance, of course. Okay. And, uh, in ECS, we instantiate a number of containers uh, that are basically fetching the key moments from both a cache and DynamoDB in a sort of sophisticated cache. What is live event is probably most probably coming from uh, the Redis cache. Uh, what is uh, video on demand is most likely to come from DynamoDB. From okay. And so let's. 
Okay, so very interesting. Thank you, Ivan, and thank you everybody thank you, for watching This is Architecture.